Hello and welcome to Class Fit Sugar. This is our five day fitness assessment series. It's a program to help you determine and track your performance level in five key aspects of fitness. Endurance. Balance. Flexibility. Strength. And today, speed. I will be leading you through this assessment with a 30 minute workout Building up speed and agility has obviously been very helpful in becoming a world championship runner, but also provides benefits ranging from increasing your stability to athletic performance to mind-body connection. This workout includes a beginner, intermediate, and advanced version to measure where you are in your fitness journey as you kick off the new year. Pauline, Poofy, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. It. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna get started with a short warm up. Let's do some jumping jacks. Nice, big arms. Pauline's got your modification. And Poofy's gonna be going at about an intermediate speed today, but if you're wanting to keep things going, keep things advanced, follow me. Just give me about five more seconds here and then we're gonna go into some side shuffles. So just to one side and to the other, keep those arms kind of swinging. We're gonna be doing some lateral moves today. We're working on a little bit of agility, so we don't just wanna go in one plane forward and back. We're gonna be moving laterally as well. Just give me about 10 more seconds here. I really like these arm swings. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Should be loosening you up pretty good. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna add these in. Absolutely. Let's give me about 15 seconds of high knees here. This workout is all about speed. So get those knees up, up, up. And I wanna see great posture. Give me three, two, and one. All right, take a big step forward, lunge and twist. Oh, good morning. Yeah, I know, oh, my hip flexors are screaming. <laughs> <laughs> nice big twist. Give me one more. And just one more on the other side. Let's even things out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and hug that knee to the chest. Filling it in your glute, in your hip flexor. And shake it out. So we're gonna have two different circuits today. This first circuit, we're gonna be repeating two times. And this is gonna be our beginner over here. So if you're just starting, you're new to this, please follow Pauline, she knows what she's doing. And then we've got Poofy with the moderate version. And if you wanna go head to head with me, please come and bring it, cause we're gonna be doing the advanced version. Hey, okay? Let's get it. You guys ready? So we're gonna start off with some high knees in just 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Let's go. Ooh, you were not playing today, huh? Not 45. at all. 45, and I want you to challenge the pace from the beginning. So we keep talking about a mind-body connection. I want you to think about what you're doing in the moment and not worry about what's gonna happen later. Knees up, 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 toes up. And even if you're doing this beginner version here, your toes should be up, your knees should be up, and you should have great posture. I'm flexing. You are. The dance, the dance <laughs> me wants to play. I know. I'm keeping it flexed. But you got it and you look good. <laughs> Just give me seven more seconds here. Can you pick it up a little bit more? Three, two, and one. Whew. Come on, heart rate. I know. <laughs> First thing down, we're starting off fast. So next up, we're gonna have in and out steps. So we're gonna take just a couple steps in, a couple steps back. And we're gonna have 45 seconds of that as well. In two, and one. Think quick feet, quick feet. Talk about mind-body connection. I'm really like connecting to my feet in and out. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Think about how fast you're moving, how light you are on your feet. That's what translates to speed. When you're thinking about a road run, when you're thinking about any sport, light on your feet. This is your chance, come on. Just about 10 more seconds here. If you're feeling that burn, let it burn. It's really on five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. So next up, we're gonna have a plyo, crossover to a squat, to a standing crunch, and then my girls have your modifications ready. We got you. 
<laughs> Let's get it in two and one crossover. Squat. And make sure we're alternating here. Controlling that breath. And as you sink into that squat, good posture. Any plyo exercises where you're really gonna work on that explosivity. Explosivity equals power, and power equals speed, baby. Let's go. Yes. We got the power. <laughs> All that. I love a good poofy dance and song break. It just makes the workout better every time. The soundtrack that lives in my head. Yes. Oh my yes. <laughs> just give me two and one. Deep oh, breaths. Oh. We're gonna have some scissor jumps next. Enjoy these 10 seconds, even when you're in your rest. Nice deep breaths, controlling everything that's going on, even when you're in your rest. Next up, we're gonna have some scissor jumps. Really simple here, keeping your legs right underneath you and using those arms. Core strength all the time, okay? So in two and one, let's go 45 seconds of scissor jumps. And you wanna move quick, but you wanna be in full control. So when I say that, what I mean is you're thinking about your posture and your form, and you're picking your rhythm. Speed is all about the rhythm that you choose, and you're in control of that. Ooh, I love that. Let's go. And we're coming up on just 20 seconds to go here, so can we go a little bit quicker? I'm trying. <laughs> if you need to keep your feet a little bit closer to you to pick up speed, do that. Just give me 10 more. Use those arms. Control that breath. Three, two, and one. Quads are on fire in the good way, yes. in the best way. So next up we're gonna have lunge jumps to two scissor jumps. So lunge jump, two scissor jumps. It's gonna hurt, but it's gonna hurt good. Yes. Let's get going. Nice big jumps. So don't worry about speeding these lunge jumps, but then pick that speed back up when you do the scissor jumps. House is jumping, jumping over here. Jumping, huh? I love it. Keep it going. We're building speed, we're building power. It's burning. Yes. As it should be. You only got 10 more seconds left. Come on, come on. Three, two, and one. Whew. Not easy, but you got this. We just got a couple more exercises here. We're gonna do lateral high knees next. And you've got five seconds. Nice deep breath in and out. Come to the top of our mat. And here we go. Staying in control. Making sure we have good posture. Thinking about our breath. Y'all got this. Fifteen seconds, come on. You got this, ladies. Yes, come on, team. Ooh. Come on, team, let's go. Three, two, and one. Whew, Fifteen second break. Next up, we have side shovel to side lunge. Opening things back up. Another lateral move in two and one. I love this one too because it always gets me a good hip stretch. Yes. yes. And I know we're probably in need of that right about now. <laughs> Let's go. Sink nice and deep into that lateral lunge so you can get that nice hip stretch and that doctor stretch that Poofy was just talking about. And if you're like me, you'll hear your hips crack a couple times. All yeah. that. But it's I know I'm doing it right. It's kind of satisfying though, right? It is. It feels good. <laughs> All of that. Nice. Just give me three, two, and one. 
15 seconds of rest. Then we're gonna have pile twist, squat, kick. Whew. Last exercise of this circuit. Then we get a little break. Let's go in two and one. Make sure you're getting nice and low in that squat. And you're alternating that twist. Thinking about being really light on your feet. Keeping control of that breath. Luffy's got your modification. It's a little too much hopping. Definitely follow her. And it's still working too. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Almost there, give me three, two, and one. Whew. Nice deep breath. We got 30 seconds to rest here. And then we do it all over again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, shake those legs out. Amazing job on that first set, ladies. We just got that one more time. Whew. And if so far you've already done the beginner, maybe you move up to moderate. If you've done it with Poofy, maybe you move up with me. And if you've done it with me, hey, maybe we're going to head to head, to head and you just beat me. How about Ooh. that? How about that? <laughs> so we got seven more seconds and then we're back in those high knees. In three, two, and one. 45 seconds of high knees here. Great posture. High knees is all about thinking nice and tall, using your core. Toe up, dorsiflex, just like Pauline. <laughs> Beautiful job. Controlling that breath and use your arms, use your arms. Only got like 15 more seconds. Can you go a little faster? Yes, you got this. <laughs> you got it, ladies. 10 more seconds. I hear those deep breaths, Poofy, you got this. Two, powering us through. and one, <sighs> yes. Powering through this one, we're powering through. Whew. 10 more seconds and we're back to those in and out steps, thinking about quick feet, being light on our feet, all about speed. Yes. In two, and one. In and out, no in burger. Out. No <laughs> burger, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> It's not about big steps, it's about small steps. So we're thinking about control, keeping your feet right underneath you. So you can just move faster and faster and faster. You got this, guys. Come on. I feel like a tap dancer. Yo, you blew my bit. mind. I was just thinking that. We got some rhythm going. <laughs> Come on, rhythm. <laughs> yes. Keep it up, keep it up. We should just be thinking about being fast. Fast, fast, fast. A fast tap dancer. Fast yeah. tap dancer, the best kind. <laughs> Two and one. Whew. Nice deep breaths. 12 seconds. Have some nice rest. And then we're gonna move to that plyo crossover squat to the standing crunch. Speaking of dance moves, this is definitely a good coordination. <laughs> <laughs> definitely requires some coordination, this one. <laughs> A couple sequences in here to mm -hmm. mix things up for you guys. But we love that. It's that mind-body connection. So yes. thanks for training our mind, yes. Jasmine. Ooh, you know I got you always. Yes. <laughs> nice and deep in that squat with a big chest. Come up and when you're thinking about that standing hunch, you're thinking about your obliques. Your core is what keeps you in control when you're trying to go fast. You don't want to be moving in any way that's inefficient. All of your core is what helps you do that. Efficiency equals speed. Give me two, three, two, and one. Shake out those legs. We got about 12 seconds until those scissor jumps. <laughs> Favorite. I know, put these in here just for you, girl. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I love You're them. so welcome. <laughs> All right, two, and one. Once again, those feet are right underneath you. If we're trying to go fast, we don't want to be reaching because we have to remain in what? In control. In control, <laughs> yes. Use those arms. 
see if you can go a little faster. Controlling that breathing, engaging that core. You got it, keep it up. Just give me 10 more seconds. Pick up that pace just a little bit. Roll into the finish line. We're right there, I see it. Oh, you can see that finish line. <laughs> Two and one. And relax. Whew. All right, so next up we've got that lunge jump to the scissor jumps. You guys already know what it is, you know what to do. Nice deep breaths. Get going in two and one. Even for these jump lunges, make sure you're not extending the front foot or the back foot too far. Stay light on your feet. I see breath control on that breathing. You guys got this. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds. Here we go, here we go. Woo! One more. Woo. Oh. And you're in that rest. Oh yeah. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Lateral high knees next. You guys are killing it. Amazing job. Keep it up, keep it up. Lateral high knees in two and one. Use your arms. You're so up, you got this. Making sure you have great posture when you stick that landing, use that balance. Even though we're going laterally, we don't want that upper body moving too much side to side. We save that for Saturday night, right? Yes. <laughs> And relax, 15 seconds. Okay, just a couple more exercises, you guys. You got this. Next up is side shuffle to side lunge. You know it, you're good at it. Great at it, yes. Let's get it to it in two it. and one. Really sit in that side lunge. Controlling that breathing. The lateral movements are so fun to go side to side. Such a nice break. <laughs> yeah, I feel the wind through my poof full back here. Yes. <laughs> you got me glowing, girl. As you should be. Such a good stretch. Ooh, beautiful. Just five more seconds here. And a deep, deep one. And relax. <laughs> Whew. 12 seconds of rest. And then we're doing that plyo twist, squat, and kick. Last exercise of this circuit. Let's go. Nice deep breaths. Ooh, y'all's kicks look good. Oh. You strong. Thank you, girl. <laughs> I'm scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> nice hot kicks. Deep squats. Just 20 more seconds. My booty is on fire. <laughs> as it should be, as it should be. That's good stuff. Just three, two, and whew, one. Oh yeah. <sighs> one minute of rest, that's the first circuit. Completely done. Whew, absolutely crushed it. We got through a full circuit. We've got one more to go. This one's a little bit shorter in terms of how many exercises we're gonna be doing, but we're gonna do this circuit three times. But for right now, we've got a good 45 seconds of rest. So I want you to take a deep breath in with me and out. Controlling our breathing all the way through this workout 
And remember, when times are gonna get tough, because we're gonna get a little sticky in this one, we're gonna feel some lactate, don't be afraid to take five, take that for yourself. This is your time, your workout, or pull it back, maybe do one of the modifications. But as long as you keep going, you're winning. Y'all got this. We got 15 seconds, and we're gonna go into a burpee to a broad jump, and then we're gonna shuffle it back, okay? Five seconds, nice and we're gonna be in this sequence. Come on, guys, <laughs> bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Right there. Let's go. Nice jump up, broad jump forward, and shuffle back. Get high, get far, and shuffle it back. You guys got this. We got this. Be afraid of those modifications. Keep it going. Just 15 more seconds, and you've got a 15 second break. Whew. Back, give me one more. Whew. And one. <laughs> Hair is flying, that's and that's a good thing. <laughs> this should get messy. So next up, we're gonna have 45 seconds of squat jump, and then tap it back. Oh yeah. This is all glute work. Let's go. Up. And tap it back. Just give me a nice uh, quarter squat for those tap backs. No need to get super low. Get up, up, up in the air. Don't quit, don't quit. This workout is mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. Let's go. 15 more seconds. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm connecting to these legs. <laughs> yes, babe, oh, yeah. let's go. Five more seconds. And one. Let's bring it down to our mat. We're gonna have a blast off push up, followed by some plank tucks, and then some mountain climbers. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Okay, blast off, push up, set those hips back, push up, plank tucks, two, three, four, five, and then mountain climbers. Four and five. Sit back, push up, one, two, three, four, five, and mountain climbers all the way in. Nice deep press. Shoulders should be over those wrists. Tight core, flat back, let's go. Don't quit, don't quit. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Whew. We've got 30 seconds here. Nice deep breaths. How are we feeling, ladies? Feeling good. Feeling good. Strong. My that power. Yes. Let's hop on up and shake those legs out. You only got two more rounds of this one, right? That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. That's really? might work. That's that easy. Work. You're right. Come to the top of our mask. Get ready for that burpee sequence. Whichever modification suits you. And don't forget, just keep on going when things get sticky. Modify. This is your time. You got this, okay? Let's go. Let's get it going in two and one. Burpee. Broad jump, shuffle it back. Nice high jumps. Just think about rhythm and keep going. And if you mess up like me, child, just run it back and keep it going. I know we're getting quiet, because oh, yeah. we're working. I'm talking to myself, <laughs> mentally. Yeah. Like, you got this, you got control. This. And two, and one. Ooh. All right, 15 Ooh. seconds. Squat jump, tap back. <sighs> nice deep breaths. We're in it now. Five more seconds. 
two, and one. Nice quarter spot for those tap backs. Even when your legs are feeling like noodles and like jelly, there's still strength in there. Just get up as high as you can. That's what I'm doing. I say when your legs feel like noodles, just put some sauce on it. Yes, Ooh, get sauce. Oh, that's a good get one. Right, let's Woo. go. I love that you're thinking of like food. It was burgers earlier, <laughs> now noodles. <laughs> yeah, food is fuel. I love food it. Food is fuel. <laughs> Just five more here. You got this, give me one more. And rest. Go ahead, shake those legs out real quick. And then we're gonna head down to our mats. We've got blast off push up to some tuck jumps and then those mountain climbers. Stay in it, stick with it. Let's do it in two and one. Sit those hips back up for a push up. Give me five plank tucks. and then mountain climbers till I say to go back to the blast off push-up. Stay with it, shoulders over those wrists, stick it, stick it, stick it, and then blast off push-up. Nice and low in that push-up. Five plank tucks. Mountain climbers and mountain climbers. I love the bear call things. I feel like it really helps to not dump in my back during a regular Two plank. and one. And you're absolutely right. You have a nice rest here, but since you mentioned the bear call planks are actually great for stabilizing the spine, making yourself, your body remember that nice flat back, that neutral spine. So, so important. All right, so we're getting into our last set now. Last one, best one. Your body's gonna be feeling some things, but you are in charge fought to get here. This is what you wanted. Don't quit now. So let's get into this burpee. Come on team. Two let's go. and one. Let's go. Nice big burpee. Broad jump. Shuffle it back. Nice big jump. Stick with it. Stick with it. Let's go you guys. You got this. We got goals to meet. <sighs> Finishing strong, it's our last round of this circuit. Oh yeah. Last set, best set, right? Just 10 more seconds. Big jump. Give me one more burpee. Two and one. Come on guys. Woo. Two more exercises to go. We got this. Five seconds and we're in those squat jumps to tap backs. Stay strong, stay tough. Here we go. Just give me as much air as you can. I don't care how much on that squat jump. If you're doing just a regular squat to tap back, nice and low in that squat. Keep going, keep going. That looks burns. so good. <laughs> you look good at home too, we see you. <laughs> My booty is on fire. Woo, yeah, We're that's fire the way. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Stay tough, stay tough. And one. Woo, down to our mat for the final time, guys. Oh yeah. 10 seconds of rest, collect yourself. Nice deep breath. All the way to the finish line. Let's go. Beautiful. Finish line. Two and one. Let's get that blast off push up. Five tuck jumps. And then mountain climbers. Stay tough. Think about your core. Shoulders should be over wrists. Back should be flat. Come on, come on. Blast off push up. Tuck jumps. Two, three, four, five. And mountain climbers. Just push. Final push, you guys. I don't Let's care what it looks like. Just push. You got it, you got it. Three, 
two, one. Whew. We have made it to the cool down. Hair that. everywhere, sweat everywhere. You guys look amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's come into a seated position. We're gonna do some shin boxes. So heels right in front of the bum and cross over this way. Ooh, one of my favorite stretches to do. Yeah. Let's open up the hips immediately. <laughs> nice big chest and deep breaths. You guys absolutely crush that. This is definitely a workout that you wanna come back to and make sure that you check out the other workouts in this series so you get the full benefit of everything we put together for you guys. Now I'm let's definitely feeling the benefits right now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. so rewarding. Let's come down onto our back. Figure four stretch for the glutes. Oh yeah. <sighs> nice deep breath and switch. I love rolling my ankle on these ones too. Oh, that is a beautiful idea. Added. Feels amazing. Yes, I love that. <sighs> Let's come on up. Let's get a little lunge, hip flexor action, really quick. Yes. I just want to make sure you guys are staying nice and open while we're still super warm and loose. Like, stretch it out and switch sides. It's a great idea. Pull down is super important. When you've worked up some lactic acid, you just want to make sure you don't let it sit for too long. Nice deep breath in and out. All right, guys, you did an absolutely beautiful job today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please feel free to continue to cool down, to stretch, and keep that body nice and limber and loose. And we will see you guys on the next class, Fit Sugar.